Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Fine Hipster Channel with me, John. As you can see in front of me, I have a bowl, which I calmly place instant noodles into. And that's exactly what's inside of this bowl today. Which type of noodles, you ask? Why, none other than these. You might say, that looks very similar to something you've done a long time ago. Whatever could be unique or special about what you're about to show me, Mr. Fat Hipster. Well, if you would have calmed down and just waited a second, I would have explained it to you a little more clearly. What I have here is one half spicy, also known as lovely hot, Poldock from Samyang. That's right. This special item is the exact same version, but half the spice. You might be also saying, hey, you've done something like that before. Well, I have done something similar before. I reviewed a product called Samyang Bulldog Light. The light version was less spicy. Um, it did not exactly specify that it was half spicy, but it did say it was less spicy. I'll take this thing off because it's obstructing my peripheral vision too much. But this one definitely says half spicy. So that means it must be around 22 scoville heat units. It also has this little diagram on the bottom saying that this is the Bulldog Fire Level number one. So this is one of the lowest spices levels of all Bulldog Samyang products. The other thing that makes this different than the light version, um, and I think this is the big difference, is that the light version also said it had less calories. It used a special type of noodle block that had less calories in it. This half spice, lovely hot, does not have half the calories. It's a regular noodle block. I checked it, uh, the calories on this versus package of normal ones. It was just about the same. I think it might have been a little bit lower, like 10 calories lower. And that might have to do something with the amount of sauce or the size of packet it was in. But it uh, was the exact or nearly exact same amount of calories as the regular Bulldog. So the big difference between the Half Spice Lovely Hot and the Light is probably the noodles being the regular uh, full calorie version of the noodles and not the light noodles. But it does have the less spicy version of the sauce. So, I've tried all the things I've had so far. Why not go ahead and keep going on that path? And here we have the lovely hot. Um, as you could see, I did add a little bit of uh, shredded cheese to this corner, a little bit of green onion over here in this corner. I added a little bit of, uh, this is rice seasoning. I wanted to add things that wouldn't increase the spice level because I want to uh, really experience what the spice level is for this that it's supposed to be. Right up here you'll see that next to my seasoning there's also like some sesame seeds and seaweed flakes those came in the packet in the lovely hot the other weird thing is that Pochi is upside down and he's holding a heart I don't know what love has to do with being half spicy maybe uh, people are like if I eat spicy ramen I can't um, show my love in a certain way at the end of the day because I have different indigestion things going on um, preventing me from uh, experiencing said activities. But inside the packet you have your square noodle block, you have your lovely hot packet of sauce, and you have your lovely hot packet of flakes which were seaweed flakes and sesame seeds. So my first bite is going to be from that section that just has those, minus anything that I've added onto here. Let's go ahead and taste it, tell you how spicy it is, and uh, 
how tasty it is too because it should still be the regular 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 chicken variety if i was one of those youtubers who did stupid faces i would do it like as i pulled it up here and be like uh, aren't you amazed by the length of a noodle and then youtube would congratulate me by increasing my views from their algorithm for making stupid faces but here we go let's taste it yeah it's definitely milder <clears throat> That being said, a half spicy Samyang Bulldog is still probably spicier than 90% of the ramen packets you'll, you'll see in stores. It's just light. I don't know if I would say this is lovely. Let me mix in the, the additions that I put in here. I wanted to add more uh, spice to it. I wanted to add like a <clears throat> Laogunma chili crisp. But that has some spice to it. And I really wanted to this review to just be as spicy as it is. I did taste a little bit of the sauce on the packet, and it was spicy, but once it's spread out as much as it is here, the level of spice is really particularly low, especially compared to any Samyang variety that I've ever had. I do like the, the cheese that I've added to this, really gives it a nice, sharper flavor. Despite having a relatively high salt content, like most uh, instant ramens do, I am noticing a, a lack of umami. Um, I know this is supposed to be chicken flavor. There is some chicken flavor in here. It's not as rich. I thought maybe with it being a lighter in spice, it would amplify the uh, chickeniness. But I'm not really getting that. It's not bad. It's um, I'd say this is good for like if you want a base noodle that has some spice to it, but you're already planning a bunch of stuff to kick it up several notches. This is a good one to to start with because the. Uh, the initial flavor won't be overpowering or um, distracting from what you want to add to it. Um, as far as like when uh, the Samyang Bulldog first got popular in the United States, it was always referred to as the Fire Noodle Challenge. If, um, if that's something you've been afraid to try because you can't handle spice, this might be a good stepping off point where it's like, if I'm curious, but kind of have some fear or anxiety about the full strength one, this would be a good one to try uh, just to see what your level of tolerance might be because 
this at most is giving me uh, warmness in my cheeks. <laughs> There's really no pain, heat on my tongue. And uh, you can always add cheese to it, sour cream to it, to really more mellow it out if this is even too hot for you, which I don't see how it could be. It's, it's literally like so mild. And I'm really just about to finish right now. Super easy. And I purposely wanted to eat the last bits while on video. Because I notice sometimes like I'll say something like, oh, this isn't as spicy as I thought it would be. Then you get to like the dregs of the bowl, the last couple bites. Everything is more concentrated on the bottom, so last slurps, last bites, tend to get you the most amount of spice. So this is literally the last dreg. And there you have it. The... Samyang Bulldog Lovely The, the Hochi being upside down screws me up Lovely hot a Half spicy Bulldog There you go Another variety down And with that I think that uh, All the ones that I know exist I have tried <laughs> and uh, this definitely is the least spicy of all of them to try. I think I even remember the light tasting hotter than this one. But if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I have literally, at the point of recording this, tried every noodle variety of Bulldog that I know exists. There's some other Bulldog Samyang products that I have not tried, but when it comes to the instant noodles, I think I've tried all of them. And uh, I will continue to do so when I find out more interesting ones come out. And if you uh, are interested in that, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, I also have at least three more ramen videos coming out soon um, and those have to do with shin varieties that I have uh, either in my possession or coming to me soon but if any of that interests you definitely subscribe I also have fast food stuff and other interesting items that I, I like to uh, review as well and you can see them all in the glorious fat hipster channel that you should definitely be subscribed to if you're not already Anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.